Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a twin molar pregnancy with fetal demise. You can see the urinary bladder, uterus having an, a hydrity for mole, molar pregnancy. Twin molar pregnancy is a rare obstetric event characterized by coexistence of hydratative for mole and potentially viable fetus with a normal placenta associated with several pregnancy complications such as spontaneous abortion, intrauterine deaths, preeclampsia and hyperthyroidism potentially leading to an obstetric near miss. Now you can see the molar pregnancy hydratative D for mole And further in this video, you will see both the fetuses with fetal demise, two gestation sacs, coexistence with a DTD for mole. In a complete mole, the ultrasound finding include a heterogeneous mass in the uterine cavity with multiple and echoic spaces most commonly referred to as snowstorm appearance. These small cystic areas are typically the hydropic villi. Now you can see both the gestation sex and fetuses are also seen in their interior. Although these embryos have no blood flow and no fet uh, embryonic cardiac activity so fetal demise had already occurred this is the intertwined membrane And this membrane, intertwined membrane, separates the two gestation sacs. Twin molar pregnancy with a you can see the intertwined membrane and both the gestation sacs. Twin molar pregnancy with a hydrate D for mole and coexisting live fetuses is a rare form of gestational tropoplastic disease associated with an increased risk of obstetric complications. And poor perinatal outcome. Prenatal diagnosis is essential to couple counseling and follow up in tertiary reference care you can see both the fetuses and the, the respective gestation sacs Now, you can see the measurement of the pregnancy and it is about 11 weeks, 6 days. But there is no blood flow and fetal cardiac activity is also missing. So the pregnancy measures about more than slightly more than 11 weeks, the duration of pregnancy. Magnetic resonance imaging is an important for the diagnosis differentiation of placental mesenchymal dys dysplasia and exclusion of myometrin 
material invasion. So here you can see a case of 10 molar pregnancy with a D for mole and coexistence fetuses diagnosed at the gestation age of 11 weeks with fetal demise. Molar pregnancy is caused by cytogenic anomaly in fertilization and may lead to two clinical forms, a complete and partial identity deformed mole. The clinical significance of this reproduction is the possibility of evolution to the gestational tropoblastic neoplasia, GTN, which may cause maternal death if not properly treated. Again, you can see the urinary bladder, identity D for mole, and the fetus in the gestation sac. So no fetal movements, there is no fetal blood flow and no fetal cardiac activity is seen. Ultrasonographic diagnosis of twin pregnancy with the identity D for mole and Coexistence fetuses is visible at the end of first trimester. MRI is essential to differentiate a twin pregnancy with the identity for mole and a coexisting fetus from a placental mesenchymal dysplasia because the perinatal prognosis is favorable in the later. Now again, you can see two gestation sacs having respect of have, having fetuses in their interior with fetal demise. So two types of identity for mole pregnancy are seen, complete and partial, and symptoms include abnormal growth of uterus either bigger or smaller than usual and severe nausea and vomiting. Vaginal bleeding during the first three months of pregnancy is usually seen. So the confirmatory test for identity D for mole is the, the following laboratory studies may be used to evaluate patient with suspected identity D for mole. Quantitative beta HCG levels, HCG levels greater than one lakh indicates exuberant tropoblastic growth and raise suspicions for a molar pregnancy. However, a molar pregnancy may have a normal HCG levels. Again, you can see the molar pregnancy along with these gestation sacs. Hydrated D for mole is the common complication of pregnancy. It consists of a non-viable fetus, fetus as in, the, in this case there are two 
embryos and fetuses that implants and proliferate within the uterus. A hereditary deformed mole can be complete or partial. The presence or absence of fetus or embryo is used to distinguish the complete and partial moles. Complete moles are associated with the absence of fetuses. Partial moles usually occur with an abnormal fetus or may even be associated with fetal demise. A hydrated deformed mole can either be complete or partial as I have described already. Rarely molar coexistence with a normal pregnancy, coexistence molar pregnancy is seen in which a normal fetuses and placenta are seen separate from the molar gestational site. Some videos about a viable fetus and alive fetus are seen, could be seen in the playlist on my channel. So, identity deform mole is a growth of an abnormally fertilized egg or an overgrowth of tissue from the placenta. Women appear to be pregnant, but the uterus enlarge much more rapidly than in the normal pregnancy. Most women have severe nausea and vomiting, vaginal bleeding, and very high blood pressures. On ultrasound, the hydrated deform mole looks like a bunch of vesicle with interspread fluid seen in the hole of the uterine cavity. Mostly painless vaginal bleeding during the second trimester of pregnancy is seen. They are diagnosed by ultrasound imaging. Extreme high level of human chorionic gonadotropin HCG are suggestive but of not diagnosis of molar pregnancy. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.